Hello and welcome to Money Time at Money Nine English. I am Ajay, and these are your headlines on Monday. First, CPI inflation has fallen for the fourth month in a row and has come at 4.25 percent in May 2023. This is the third month in a row that retail inflation has remained within the tolerance band of the RBI. On the back of low inflation in vegetables, oil and fats and meat and fish and transport and communication, retail inflation has fallen for the fourth month in a row in May 2023. Both rural and urban inflation have fallen to lower than 5%. CPI inflation in May 2023 is now at a 25 month low level. In other data, the index of industrial production rose 4.2% in April against 6.7% in the same period last year. And now a big news on iPhone 15. According to media reports, iPhone 15 models may be costlier by up to 16 to 17000 rupees than its predecessor. Currently, base model of iPhone 14 costs 65,861 rupees in India, but the Pro and Pro Max models cost more than 1.27 lakh rupees. But the price of Pro models of iPhone 15 will be even higher by somewhat 17,000 rupees. These predictions are made by the te- US tech giant Dan Ives. He is the same person who had correctly predicted iPhone 14 prices before its launch. But iPhone 14 sale in India is not expected to get hit by the anticipated price hike. During his India visit, Apple CEO Tim Cook had said that India's middle class was evolving, and Apple was highly optimistic with more and more middle class families grabbing Apple's flagship product. And now moving on, Prabhudas Leeladhar has suggested buying and accumulating stock of Samvardhana Motherstone for an upside target of ninety-seven rupees. The brokerage firm has suggested a stop loss of seventy-nine rupees. The brokerage sees immense upside potential in the stock from the current levels. According to the brokerage firm, the stock has given a breakout signal above eighty-two rupees. Overall, the brokerage has maintained a strong outlook on the stock. The brokerage says that chart also looks attractive. RSI looks well placed. The stock is currently trading in a strong zone. On Monday, the stock closed more than two percent in green and eighty-three rupees a piece. Moving on, FBIs have been net buyers of India's equity markets so far in the current financial year. FIIs have bought shares worth thirty-nine thousand crore rupees in Indian equities so far. According to experts, FIIs have been net buyers because of strong economic growth and attractive valuations of stocks. According to experts, FIIs may continue buying financial and auto sector stocks. Small case manager Mayank Mehra said that the outlook for FII flows in the rest of June is positive, while Himanshu Srivastava of Morningstar India said that valuation could become a concern as Indian markets continue to surge. Well, not only FIIs, mutual funds too have been continuing their positive stance on domestic equities. Mutual funds have been net buyers of equities in the last two consecutive months of April and May. FIIs too have been heavily investing in India's equity market. So, what is making investors so highly bullish on the stock market? Anand Rati well said that positive macro numbers and current fair value of Nifty is driving mutual fund investments in India. This will increase liquidity in the market and enable strategic exits and profit booking opportunities. Just like FII, mutual funds too have mostly picked up stake in financial, auto, and capital goods stock. And if you are an insurance policy holder, this news is very important for you. Now it will be mandatory for you to create an Ayushman Bharat Health Account or ABHA to buy insurance policies. The Ayushman Bharat Health Account is commonly known as ABHA. The Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India has directed insurance companies to ensure that both existing and new policy holders obtain an ABHA ID. Under this government scheme. Citizens' health-related information is collected at one place. Aba Card maintains records of all health-related information of citizens. All medical records of citizens are stored in the Ayushman Bharat Health Account. Anyone can get this card. There are no eligibility criteria. Moving on, Bank of Baroda has raised rate of interest on various types of consumer loans like home loans, personal and auto loans. The public sector bank has hiked its one-year 
MCLR to 8.65%. The interest rates on various types of loans are tied up with the one-year MCLR of banks. With the public sector lender raising its one-year MCLR, various types of consumer loans will become costlier. Now then, if you have invested in Punjab National Bank, then this news is for you. The state-owned bank has said that the current financial year will be a golden year as it will look to adopt multi-pronged strategy to change its fortunes. It will be looking to increase market share, jack up CASA ratio apart from taking numerous strategy changes. It will look to improve its asset quality, minimizing slippages, etc. In FY23, PNB had clocked a net profit of 2,507 crore rupees. It had registered an impressive growth in net interest income as well. Now, petrol and diesel prices increased in Punjab by almost 1 rupee after the AAP government hiked VAT imposed on fuel. Retail prices of petrol in Mohali will now be 98.95 rupees a litre and of diesel is 89.25 rupees per litre. Earlier in February, the AAP government had also imposed a cess on both petrol and diesel, hiking fuel prices that time as well. This move has driven a sharp reaction from the opposition parties. The opposition parties said it would put an additional burden on the common man and farmers. They have called for an immediate rollback of the VAT on fuel. And Max Life Insurance has rolled out a new life insurance saving plan where the insuree will get the facility to withdraw funds in the first year of the policy itself. Insuree will also get the retirement income after he or she attains 65 years of age. The plan will cover 40 years of his life. The insurer will continue to get cover till he or she attains 100 years of age. There are different tenure options that customers can choose. Other striking features include maturity benefits, survival benefit, option to avail loans, accidental death benefit, etc. Women and transgenders will get more maturity benefits. The plan is known as Smart Wealth Advantage Growth Power Plan. It is a non-linked participating individual life insurance saving plan. That's it for today here on Money Time and Money 9 English. Download the Money 9 app and stay tuned to Money 9 English's YouTube channel. Also check out the revamped website of Money 9, money9.com. See you all again tomorrow at the same time. This is me Ajay signing off. Take care and good night.